hi guys how you doing i hope you guys are doing good because i am doing amazing you guys today i'm going to be talking about how to deal with negativity i got this question or negative thoughts i got this question in my last video or so and then i was going through my notes app because my notes app is actually full i was going through my notes app to try and delete some things and then i came across this topic i drafted in october 2020 yeah that was when i drafted this notes and i had to think back october 2020 i was actually pregnant i was probably pregnant so when did i draft this word anyway i don't know if i filmed a video like this but the title was what I wrote was how to deal with negativity, then in brackets, self-pity, defeat, envy, and jealousy, okay? So yeah, let's just dive right into it. And I'm going to be reading from the notes I wrote that time because I know that past Adese was quite smart, okay? So present Adese does not need to change much, okay? <laughs> but anyway, my, the first thing I wrote down here was that negative thoughts are normal. It starts with children. It is human nature human nature is sinful okay and i think the reason why i wrote this thing down is because i was trying to establish the fact that negative thoughts is part of the human experience you are not having negative thoughts because you are not brought up well because you are a wicked person because you are this because you are that or because bad things are happening to you no negative thoughts are actually part of the human experience okay because the devil is not asleep yes i must talk about the devil i must go back to the devil okay whether you want to actually put it to devil or not it is the devil <laughs> Because even the Bible says the devil is the god of this world, okay? So we cannot remove him from certain things and try to explain it through philosophy or, or psychology. <laughs> it is still, last, last. Whether that's psychology, you want to explain that more. It is still the devil that is behind it, okay? One thing you actually have to understand is that not all thoughts that you have are actually yours, okay? There are some thoughts that... In fact, most thoughts basically are not actually your thoughts. I think I've said this thing before, and I don't know where I even heard it from, but yeah. Most thoughts that you actually have are not actually your thoughts, okay? Now, you're going to get so many suggestions from different areas of your life. So, from what you read, from what you consume, from, you know, the Holy Spirit, also from the devil, you are going to get a lot of suggestions. It is what you allow to stick that actually becomes your thoughts, okay? What you adopt, what you embrace, what you take, what you give life to is what now ends up being your thoughts, okay? Um, I don't know if you guys know about intrusive thoughts. I don't know if you guys experience it, but I think it's actually a quite common phenomenon, okay? Intrusive thoughts. Like, sometimes I can just be on my own now. I'm good, I'm happy, I'm, I'm, like, I'm loving everybody around me. I'm in a good place mentally and otherwise. Like, I'm, I'm good, I'm really, really good. I can even be watching a funny video and just be laughing and, or be cuddling with my kids and just be laughing and be happy. Next thing, one kind of diabolical, devilish, <laughs> satanic, evil thought will just cross my mind like this. I don't know if you guys know, know what I'm talking about, okay? If you can relate. What kind of nonsense, devilish thought will just cross my mind like this, right? The moment it comes, I nip it in the bud. I attack it immediately i bind and cast okay i pray and then i also try to actively think positive thoughts use and just you know take over and basically chase the negative thought away okay i don't adopt it i don't allow it i don't even allow it to just stay two seconds like ah let me think about it. Eh, eh, eh. once those intrusive intrusive thoughts come i just immediately you know fight back okay so that just lets you know that it is not it's not because of something bad happening around me no i was happy in a good place happy next thing one bad thought to just come now if you actually give life to those bad thoughts before you know what's happening they are going to consume you okay whatever you give life to is what is going to become your reality if you're not careful it is going to consume you so one of the ways that me personally i deal with negative thoughts is to immediately on the spot bind and cast it <laughs> bind cast pray about it whatever it is that you can do to get those thoughts out of your mind please do it okay another thing i actually do is to consciously think positive thoughts okay consciously like i will consciously let them like this close my eyes and start imagining glorious and happy and lovely things okay that is the only way you can deal with you know negative thoughts quickly if you say oh I'll, I'll deal with it later it will just keep growing and growing and growing and before you know what's happening you start manifesting those things is that you start manifesting them in what you say or you start manifesting them in what you do or you start manifesting them in you know how you see other people how you see life in general okay how you interpret other people's actions and behaviors and whatever happens around you how you interpret it you start interpreting it through the jaded lens of negativity okay so yeah don't even let it 
become a thing for you, okay? Oh, I even went on, I even went ahead to say it. Yes, the ruler of this world is the devil. His greatest tool is your mind, okay? That is why you can just be on your own and negative images can just come from nowhere, okay? From what we watch, what we listen to, you know, music, art, movies, all kinds of um, um, things that we, you know, consume, right? The devil is working over time to post negative messages and all of these things. That's why you can be on social media now. It doesn't even mean that maybe you're even following good people, you're following Christians, you're following pastors. Okay, let's say people you're following are pastors, everybody's putting, you know, positive quotes and Bible scriptures from morning to night, right? Go to your For You page now. Just enter your For You page one day. Next thing you just see unprovoked, you just see bum bum. Unprovoked, you just see breasts. Unprovoked, you just see blood. You just see them killing somebody. You just see one negative story. You see one evil thing happening in one country. You will see somebody being shot. You see, like, the negative messaging is real. It is a lot. So, you have to be conscious of how hard the devil is working to put these images in front of you. And you have to work as hard to remove those images from you, okay? So, one thing I try to do is... I always say this thing that you see all these negative videos of oh somebody was caught doing this to somebody. If you send it to me, I know they watch them. In fact, I said I mistakenly because sometimes I mistakenly click. If I mistakenly click and I see that this video, I might, I might not even be sure of the content of the video. But if the beginning of the video just looks one kind, like you you know those kind of videos. Once I just see that this video is one CCTV CCTV camera video or something, I just click off. <laughs> I don't even want to know that the CCTV camera caught you know somebody giving another person a flower. I know one no. As long as it looks like what I think it looks like, I will just I'll just click off. I will just delete the video immediately. Okay, so you have to work really hard. If not, you're going to see yourself, you are going to be afraid. You see, I'm talking about that, don't be afraid. You will be afraid because the devil is going to take over. I also wrote, what you know is what enslaves you. Okay, so now, if you go to the village, I'm talking about some kind of poor villages, not even, because village does not equally, village does not automatically mean poverty, okay? So I'm talking about some poor villages, okay? You go to some poor villages, and you will see the children there, they are very happy. They are very good with their life, they are having fun, you know, happiness to them is just, you know, swimming in the river, plucking fruits, you know, making bicycles out of plastic and sticks, you know, playing with their friends, making mud houses. That is happiness to these kids. They are they don't know they don't know all these things that we people are doing here in the town. They don't know. So they are happy. If you talk to them, they're happy, they are good, they are fine. Then you now come to rich kids. You go to the rich kids in the in the city and you see them. They have Xbox, they have PlayStation, they have a uh, virtual reality waiting, waiting, waiting. They have tab, they have scooter, they have bicycle, they have car, they have board games, they have uh, a, a, a television everywhere. Just simply name it and these children have it, right? However, these children, with all these things I just mentioned, they are still not happy. If you really get down to it, many of them are still not happy. Many of them will still be telling you, I'm bored. Like my kids sometimes they to tell me, mommy, I'm bored. I'm like, you're bored. With all the things you have in this house, you're bored. I'll tell them, go outside. Go and tell those children on the street, eh, how hard your life is. I used to tell my children, no. If you want to, you want to whine, you want to come and start whining for me. You want to come and start, eh, eh you know, murmuring. I'll say, hey, hey, not in my house, not in my house. <laughs> I will send you out to the streets, to the ghetto. When you go there, go and murmur to them, eh. Go and tell them how difficult your life is. But you see, in this my house, you are going to be happy. You are going to accept what I give you with with a smile <laughs> it is what you know that makes you unhappy some of you are unhappy because somebody is flying private jets meanwhile you never even you know you, you, when did you find out about aeroplane <laughs> When did you know about aeroplane? Some of you are, are jealous that somebody is spending so and so amount of money on a handbag. Meanwhile, on a normal day, if they show you that handbag, you don't even like it. That's even one funny thing about a lot of people. You are jealous or you are envious of things that you actually don't even like. You are envious of lifestyle that you don't even like. It's not even your, like, it's not your, your dream or your destiny or even, it doesn't even suit your lifestyle to be like that. But because it looks good on another person, you're not envious of it. Why? It doesn't make sense. I always tell people that I'm not actually a jealous person, okay? And one of the reasons why I say this is, okay, there are two things, that there are two sides to it, right? I feel like on one hand, one of the reasons why I am not a jealous type of person is because of my personality, right? My personality is more laid back. I'm not a competitive person. I don't know if it's the way I grew up as well. Okay, like the same thing about, I said about making something out of nothing. Like, 
I grew up not having so much. Like, we were good though. It's not like, uh, when I said this, it's best if no, we were okay, but you know, we didn't have so many toys or so many nice things like that. What we have, what we had was each other, me and my siblings. And we enjoyed our childhood. Like, when I say I enjoyed my childhood, hey, hey, you don't get the kind of play where I no play. We didn't have toys, so we didn't have games and stuff like that. But the, the just the, the the quiet not the quietness just the time that we had to play with each other we played to the max okay so maybe because of that i am naturally not a i'm not even a competitive person i always said this, i'm not a competitive person i don't I, I don't know how to compete for anything like i don't like it i don't want it i've never even played sports growing up so i'm not even a competitive person like i'm not a kind of person that we want to one up the other person. I, I don't care, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Even in times where I am supposed to be competitive, I am not. Okay, I'm not a competitive person, so it's easy for me to say I'm not a jealous person, right? That's on one hand. Now, on the other hand, because I always cut negative thoughts out, like as you're coming, I'm kicking you out. Because I do that, I also don't get jealous, okay? So, I'm actually the kind of person that if you are someone who likes to brag a lot, I will be your best friend. Like, I can be a very good friend to someone that brags a lot because. It does not prepare me. Like I don't, know, I don't know how to explain it. I've seen people who, when somebody's bragging, is pinning them. It does, it does not prepare me. Like you can, in fact, I'll be like, wow, wow. I'll be your biggest cheerleader. Oh my goodness. Even when the person is lying, and I know that's even the funny part. Even when somebody is lying, and I know the person is lying, I will still keep a straight face or still smile with you because I'm like. Okay, it doesn't change anything in my life. Okay, when I see people winning, I'm genuinely happy for them. It doesn't, I, I always say this thing, and it has been my mantra forever and ever nobody took my destiny. I don't, I'm not going to be like, uh, uh, nobody has taken my destiny. My destiny is still intact. <laughs> It is still intact, okay? Nobody took my destiny, okay? So if somebody is progressing in one aspect of their lives, they deserve it. They did not come and take my own, okay? That somebody uh, uh, became, maybe somebody won one social media award for something. It does not mean that they took my spot. They didn't take my spot, okay? They worked for it and they got it, right? So that's how I see life in general, okay? That's why when it comes to jealousy or envy, it's not something I particularly deal with because I don't, I don't experience it. Even in situations where I'm supposed to experience it, I nip it in the bud very, very quickly. Like, I don't even allow it. It doesn't even become a thought to me, okay? Because if there's something I am very good at, it is counting my blessings. You see me? That's why I always say, ah, I'm not unfortunate person, this and that. I say those things because I try to count my blessings. I know where... I know how much God has done for me and I'm constantly reminded of how much God has done for me. That is why I don't... I remember one time I did a video on social media about weird things people say to me when they find out I am done having kids after having three daughters, okay? That video actually did well. And you know, one of the reasons why it baffles me when people say things about, oh, why don't you go and try for a boy? I'm like... I am lucky that I had kids to start with. <laughs> I went from looking for children to now having three kids. Like, I am blessed over blessing they worry me so talking about you know gender and all of that is like are you okay like are you normal i'm, I'm even like anyway so that's, that's what i mean by i count my blessings a lot like i i i've i'm not even counting my blessings i'm very self-aware i know what is for me and what is not for me so i cannot see let's say now i see somebody that has one very massive closet with fine clothes up and down or clothes up and down and the person is just dressing up hey, shoes bags this that i'll now see the person and be jealous why on a normal day i don't really care on a normal day as in aside paparazzi like on my, my normal default setting i like fashion but not to that extent like it's not something that consumes my life i'm not someone that is always looking for the latest or latest that i don't have any designer item as in no not even the least designer item i don't have okay so why would someone like me now be jealous of somebody that is now a fashionista do you understand my point when i'm talking about how people can actually be envious of things that are not for them some of you the things that you are aspiring to and not necessarily things that you actually want in your life and that is why you are consumed with negative thoughts because you are striving for something that is not even for you you have not really sat down to ask yourself okay what is it that i want to do with my life which area of my life do i really need to work on and what is what does happiness mean to me many people don't know what happiness means to them that's why they are grasping and straw anything anywhere belief is they are there anywhere belief is they are there oh we're going to eat two years in so and so place you are rushing there oh we're going to drink uh, this one and that one place you are there oh we're going to you are looking for happiness in things that naturally don't even make you happy now i'm not saying that going out is a bad thing if you are someone that ah you like going out you know all the latest spots and it's what genuinely makes you happy 
all well and good. But if you're someone like me, who you are a homebody, you love your house so much, like you would rather stay at home for one year straight than even go for three nights of, of one event somewhere. If you're like me and you now start trying to go for those events up and down just because yeah, everybody's doing, let me go and do, you will still not be happy. This is what leads to negative thoughts. This is what leads to negativity. You will still not be happy. Some of you are trying to play games that you are not even equipped to play. I'm not one of those people that are skeptical, or skeptics or whatever they call them, okay? People that are always like, ah, everything is fake, everything. No, I'm not one of those people, right? But at the same time, I'm not going to always be inclined to believe that other people have it better than me. No. Nobody has it better than me in this life. Or nobody in this life has it better than me. But you guys know this thing. I always say it here that nobody finds past me in this world though. Yeah, they are slim my hair and so and so <laughs> but anyway so basically when it comes to negative thoughts negativity jealousy envy all these things are intertwined all these things are a factor of you not knowing who you are you not knowing what god has done for you you not knowing what you want with your life not knowing where you are going to going with your life some people might see you now let's say you have friends who are driving big cars some people might see and say ah why can't you see your friend why can't you go and buy a big car like them do you need a big car in your life? Ask yourself that question. You, you, that you are watching me, that you are feeling bad at, oh, that part doing I'm not doing it. Do you actually need that thing in your life? And even if you need that thing in your life, is that person's own stopping you from getting your own? No. So, be happy for others while you pray for your own thing. Do you get, like, so that you don't give yourself high BP for no reason. You cannot see somebody who is genuinely happy trying to pull others down. It is not possible. You don't see people who are genuinely happy trying to make you unhappy it does not work it doesn't even make sense okay you don't see people who are genuinely winning in life trying to rub it in your face that they're winning in life you don't see it it's something i always tell people if you in fact most times say people brag about things because it is brand new to them as well <laughs> they never believe in their life they can get those things okay is that that's just the truth people who were born into old money okay what they call old money the way they behave is, the way, is different from the way people that are born into new money behave. Okay, old money, they, they, are, they have self-respect, they carry themselves well, but they don't put others down. They are just happy, they're just cool with themselves. They're not bragging about certain things. They don't even feel the need to show you that they have certain things because they have it, they have it. Like, it's, they are used to it. But it's new money that will go and buy the biggest chain, the biggest this one. <laughs> Carry this, carry that, carry that, because they're trying to prove to you that ah, I got this. Because to them, it is brand new. They're not used to it. Okay, it's not the life they are used to. So they, are, they, they, they never experienced it. And in this life, they can, they can afford things like this. So they want you to acknowledge it. Okay, and one thing I want to tell people is that sometimes you're looking for validation from me, right? If you feel like oh, you're too much with your life, and my own life is less than your life, it's because you're looking that you're too much. It's not enough for you. You need me to accept that your own is much, so that. You feel happy with yourself and also when it comes to people who actually blame others for their misfortune you are blaming your parents you are blaming your environment you are blaming your family members you are blaming past traumas past this past that now i am not saying that you should not acknowledge you know the negative impact of some of the things that have happened to you okay in your life right now you cannot say i can't say you should not acknowledge that okay maybe your parents were not good parents or maybe you know something bad happened to you that could actually affect your life yes it is it is valid for you to acknowledge those things right however let it end there don't allow those things to control your life okay your life is not over until it is over as long as there's breath in your lungs, as long as you are he healthy, you are alive, you can think well, you can speak. Even if you, are, you can't even speak, but as long as you are alive, there is hope. Okay, there is hope. I have seen people come from the most messy backgrounds ever. Like, I can't even picture some of the things that they said happened to them. I can't even picture it. Like, even when I try to picture it... It's almost like my brain, because I, I try to block negativity, my brain just does ee, 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 shut down. <laughs> okay? It just shuts down because what these people went, went through was really diabolical, right? But these are the same people now who are doing so well with their lives. They are telling their, they are sharing their story. Many of them are pastors. Have you ever heard of J, um, jo, Joyce Mayer? Okay? If you've heard of Joyce Mayer, go and you know, watch her story about what happened to her growing up nasty stuff terrible stuff happened to her but right now she's a pastor she has so many members she's preaching she's written so many books she's helping people all around the world okay so at the end of the day i think what i'm just trying to say is that negative thoughts negativity 
are not things that you should entertain in your life. Don't allow them in your life. Because if you allow them, that is when the real defeat starts. Okay? That is when the real defeat starts. Once you accept that you have been defeated, that is when the real defeat starts. Okay? Once you accept that your own is, 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 is the worst in life, that is when the real defeat starts. That is when things start preparing you. That's when people, even people, people living their normal life, not even, uh, I talk about the ones that even brag. Let's not talk about people that brag themselves. People that are just living their normal lives, their normal, happy, normal lives, where, wherever you are, your soul will be heavy. <laughs> your heart will be heavy just because of negativity, negative thoughts. Somebody's just living their life. They're just ex existing somewhere, happy, you know, and going about their own struggles. Because everybody has their own struggles. They have their own struggles. They're just going about their own struggles, but they're going about it, you know, with positive mindset, you know, looking onto God, having a great outlook on life. You, you are where you are watching them and you are angry. You are where you are watching them and you are sad, getting consumed, looking uglier by the day. Things are no longer working well for you. Even the ones you had going for you before, they no longer work for you because you are now consumed with envy and strife and jealousy and wickedness and darkness. It is not worth it, sis. It is not worth it, bro, brother. Okay? It is not worth it. Like, learn to, to renew your mind, okay? Yeah, the Bible is always going to be the tool I'm always going to refer to. Yes, you can see a psychologist, you can talk to a therapist, you can do whatever it is you, you got to do to make you feel better, but you need to still go back to the Word of God. You need to go back to the Bible. You need to know who you are and whose you are, and you need to actually sit down and actually think about what you want for your life. Because if you don't know what you want for your life, you are going to be judging your life, you are going to be judging your happiness, you are going to be judging your results, your successes, based on other people's yardsticks, instead of your own yardsticks, okay? You are going to be judging your happiness, you are going to be basing your happiness on other people's source of happiness, instead of your own source of happiness, okay? So, I want more in life, I always say this, I want more in life, I have goals, I have dreams, I have aspirations, but where I am, I am, I am very, very contented, okay? I had someone recently, you know, trying to tell me, why don't you be doing this, why don't you be doing that, you know? It will help you, it will help your channel to be doing this, and I was like, do I really want to do this? Is that the life I want to live? Is not the life I want to live? I'm not here looking for fame per se okay persons everywhere every event you are there she's a socialite hey, i don't want to be a socialite though i'm not a socialite at all at all at all <laughs> don't pressure me please i'm not a socialite at all okay i don't want that i'm not I, I don't like when the person was saying it i understood where she was coming from because you know she was trying to help me and all that and help my channel but i was like that's not the life i want it's not what i want for myself like it's not like know what you want for yourself. If not, you'll be running kitty kitty kata 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 everywhere, anywhere by life is you'll be dead. No, it's not what I want for my life, not what I want for myself. Is it a good thing to want? Yes, if that is your lifestyle, if that is the kind of you know thing that works for your life, then fine. But what works for my life is I just want to live a happy, quiet, good life and, and just be fine, okay? And on social media, yes, because I like it, because I have a message to pass across, but if social media was not giving me what I wanted, I would dump it and go. I'm not attached to any kind of fame or, you know, being being recognized as, hey, I don't really care about all of that, though. Like, <laughs> I don't care. You know, so that's it. That's but imagine if I did not know what I wanted for my life. When a person is telling me all those things, I'd not be like, it's true. Hey, I should be doing this. So then the next day, I'll start I'll start trying to make it happen. Spend money, spend time, spend energy. It's like it's like real housewives. It's like me now striving to be on real housewives. <laughs> I used to say by joke, ah, the colours for real housewives of Potacot. I don't want to be there, please. I don't need it. I don't need that kind of drama. I don't need that kind of life i don't like it's not for me okay let's say now me and somebody are, are discussing a person tells me ah i bought this handbag for like 50 million naira right i'll be like wow are you serious 50 million or more when i get money when are the six kind money from me that i bought my own bag for 20k i was even saying 20k is too much 50 million naira eh hey i'll be happy for you i'll be like oh my god my sister now wow show me the way oh, you know we'll laugh about it and, and we'll pass like i won't start feeling oh how did she get 50 million to gamble? Maybe it's a man that even gave her the money safe. How did she afford it? Maybe she's even lying. Maybe it's not 15 million. No! I, ah, why? Negative thoughts are not things you should entertain in your life. Life is, is, is difficult as it is. Okay? I feel like negative thoughts is like torturing yourself by yourself. You just stay on your own and just carry knife and be choking yourself. That's what it sounds like to me when you dwell with negative thoughts. Okay? So, um, yeah, if you are struggling with it today, I empathize with you. But please. Go and read the word of God. Seek therapy. Seek help if you need. Surround yourself with the right people. Okay, that is very, very important. Surround yourself with the right people. If something makes you feel jealous all the time, cut it off. So if it means 
closing your social media and opening a new one and, and just following one or two nice people, including me, okay? <laughs> You know, if you just follow one or two, three nice people, just so that you have that peace of mind, then do it, okay? Whatever it is that you're going to, that you can do, do it. Even if, even Jesus Christ said it, that if your hand will cut, you, will cause you to sin, then cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it. Cut it. Hey, cut it. Cut it. Hey, cut it off. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, okay? Because at the end of the day, what will it gain to? What 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 will it profit you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? Because at the end of the day, you see all this jealousy, hatred. Uh, um, um, envy. Those are the kind of things that will take you to hell. Though. It's not your outward work. Though. It's not the outward things that you are doing outside that people are seeing and seeing you as a good person. Nope. It is your the state of your soul, your mind, your mind. What is in your mind? What is in your heart? That is what will make or my you. Okay. So a word or a thousand and two. <laughs> I know I've said so many words today. A word or ten thousand words is enough. For the wise, okay? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know how you guys deal with negative thoughts, okay? How do you deal with, you know, feeling defeated, feeling envious, feeling jealousy, feeling sad? How do you deal with it? Me, for sadness, I just look for happy thoughts. I just think happy thoughts, do happy things, do things that make me happy. And I'm good, okay? It's what, I, it's what makes me happy. Okay, so whatever it is, whatever it takes to get you to that place where you exude positivity from inside out, then please, Get yourself to that place today, okay? Because the world is not going to help you. The world is actually doing the opposite, trying to get you down. So don't let them win, okay? Be competitive in that aspect, okay? Be competitive in the aspect of not letting the world get you down, okay? Compete for your happiness. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.